good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 iconic wrestling entrance quirks part three you know we checked out the first two parts it's it's always good to like kind of go back down memory lane and, and check out some of these entrances uh, of these particular wrestlers and just the little things that they did to make their entrance that much better man it's on all eyes are on a wrestler when they make their entrance. Of course, they come of course. down the aisle, the wrestler has an opportunity to stand out and showcase their character. In this series so far, we've seen wrestlers use pyro, vehicles, taunts, cameramen, the fans, and all sorts of objects. Mm -hmm. We continue this theme today as we look at 10 more great wrestling entrance quirks. Number one, the Undertaker's eye roll. Mm -hmm. Every incarnation Used to scare me as a kid. has had a killer entrance whether he was riding a motorcycle or making that so walk down the ramp and once taker entered the ring he sent chills down the spine of not just the fans but also his opponent as the phenom removed his signature black hat and rolled his eyes into the back of his head only as always head scared me as a kid that just happened in a match look at that monsoon he has no eyeballs when i came back and everybody was like what the hell was that <laughs> Stress that enough. Yeah, it was a simple yet effective little thing that added to the Undertaker's persona tremendously. It worked. <laughs> it definitely scared me as a kid. It worked every time, damn near. Taker used it in his entrance as well as before and after hitting the tombstone pile driver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number two, the brood coming out of the fire. The, they used to creep me out as a kid too. <laughs> the Undertaker wasn't the only dark and gothic character with a heart-stopping entrance. The brood, who were one-time associates of Taker's Ministry of Darkness, had a similar spine-tingling entrance that saw them rise from a ring of fire beneath mm -hmm. the stage. It was a cool visual. Accompanied by one of wrestling's greatest ever theme songs, the brood couldn't have looked any cooler. It's an entrance that fans and wrestlers continue mm -hmm. to pay tribute to today. <laughs> oh my god. I get it now. Really? <laughs> Bro, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into Edge's legendary entrance, can we just look at the fact that you had people in all black like suits, all black suits basically pretending to be the flames as they walked out. That that's funny, bro. That's a good one. They're literally just laying down, waving these little lights to pretend like they're fire. That's that's funny, man. That's a good one. <laughs> that's funny, bro. It's a new day. Number three, Edge's entrance. Love Edge's entrance, bro. You think you know me? After his time with the brood came to an end, Edge continued to have memorable entrances, from entering via the crowd with Christian to performing his iconic taunt that sparked his pyro. Edge knew the importance of having a strong entrance, mm -hmm. changing his theme song when necessary, and even paying homage to his past every now and again. Brood fight once again. This was a dope entrance as well. Edge was one to set the tone of his character as soon as he came out, running through the smoke and hyping himself up Bro. before posing to see. Once you hear that, you think you know me. Oh my God. People just would go crazy, man. Signal his massive pyro display. Love it. Love it every time. Oh. Number four, the rock smells. The <laughs> the rock <laughs> this was a good one, too. Sports and entertainment. The rock is genetically electrifying. <laughs> I like how he just put his shirt on his face, bro. And he's still holding the microphone. <laughs> 165 days a year, including leap year. And it was this electric energy that accompanied the people's champion every time he came through the curtain. As soon as his music hit, mm -hmm. the fans pop sent shockwaves through the arena. Listen. When the rock entered the ring, <laughs> and the circle, breathing in the electricity. The electricity had the rock I love it, man. Along, but he couldn't do this without the people. Making the rock's yeah. entire presentation, including his entrance, simply electrifying. Uh oh, Kurt's smelling some of this. Thank you for touching me. Get sitting out over here. 
Number five, the New Age Outlaws promo. Mm -hmm. Few wrestlers encapsulated the WWF's Attitude Era better than the New Age Outlaws, and much of this is thanks to their unforgettable entrance. From the moment the Road Dog said, <laughs> Oh, you didn't know? Yep. Ready to recite every word of the promo that was to come. It's really hard for me to believe that 12,000, 15,000 people said every word. The fans weren't just hanging mm -hmm. on every word, they were saying every word. And it was hard not to, given just how entertaining the outlaws were. Classic. Oh, you, didn't you didn't know? know? <laughs> oh, somebody. <laughs> Team champions of the world. <laughs> Road dog Jesse James, badass Billy Gunn, the new, new age out. And obviously, if you guys remember Enzo and uh, Big Cash, you can tell their little entrance how they would come in. It was heavily inspired by uh, uh, by Road Dog uh, and and Billy Gunn, bro. Like that that you can it it was superly. Heavily inspired to the point where the crowd was chanting word for word everything Enzo and Big Cass was saying, man. Uh, it's, it's crazy how they should have been WWE tag team champions on the main roster, bro. They never got that opportunity. Obviously, Enzo with some backstage heat he was getting and all types of stuff. But still, you can see their influence. Even with the, with the uh, acclaim, you can see the influence they've had over like tag team wrestlers with catchy entrances and sayings that people know word for word. It didn't matter if they were heels or baby faces. When Road Dogg and Billy Gunn made their entrance, the fans were with them all the way. Mm -hmm. If you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Number six, Every time. Truth rapping. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> -quick. the duo rapped to the ring performing their song, Get Rowdy. The team didn't last long, but it acted as our first introduction to the man that would become known as R Truth. <laughs> After making a name for himself <laughs> in DNA, Truth returned to WWE in 2000. He continued to wrap his way down. What's the up? Way, interacting with the fans and becoming a popular babyface in the process. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? would nobody say our truth is one of the best comedy acts in wrestling history bro it's just as entertaining as before you suck you suck um who remembers when the miss and our truth they just said, fuck it, we've had it. <laughs> was a favorite of Vince McMahon who believed Truth was so funny and charismatic, fans just couldn't boo him. And yeah. it's hard to argue with Vince, as right from his entrance, Truth had the fans on his side, dancing and chanting along to his iconic What's Up theme song. I created What's Up in my house, in my room, and 15,000 people is singing and enjoying and having a good time. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Bro, our truth you can give him literally trash you could give him trash and he will turn it into gold he's the only person in my opinion that made the 24 7 championship even even worth caring about because he was so funny bro calling it the 24 uh i think he was calling like the 24 uh or i think it was like the 7-eleven Championship. He was adding all types of different names that made no sense, but it was fucking great. Our truth. I wish you a speedy recovery. Hopefully, he's uh, uh healing pretty well, man. Wish you a speedy recovery, bro. You are hilarious. There's no doubt about it. One of the funniest wrestlers ever. <laughs> Number seven, JBL. Oh, in the limousine. Numerous wrestlers have found success by riding to the ring in vehicles, especially mm -hmm. when it fits their character so well. For JBL, this was no different. After being repackaged as a rich Texan who resided mm -hmm. in New York. There he is. He's got that grin on that face. It's a little grin. It's all business now, Paul. 
Bradshaw was driven by limousine everywhere he went, and this included the ring. But as tends to be the case with vehicles in wrestling, it's only a matter of time until they're stolen or destroyed. Yep. <laughs> I remember that. Vandalism didn't stop JBL from being chauffeured to the ring each week. He's got the toy. Oh, this is big. Number eight, CM Punk, it's clobbering time. Punk yeah. Punk tribute to the thing's catchphrase as he yelled out, it's, it's clobbering, clobbering time, time during his entrance. Man, who remembers his other theme song, bro? I love his old theme song, bro. I love his old theme song. Not to say I don't love uh, Cult of Personality. I think it's, it's, it definitely is dope, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hearing that other theme song, it just gets you amped. It got me amped every time, bro. Punk said the catchphrase first during his days in Ring of Honor, before eventually using it in WWE and later AEW, making it a staple of his entrance. <laughs> For Punk, the phrase was a good way to set the tone for the battle that was to come, while mm -hmm. also paying tribute to an iconic character. <laughs> Number 9, Shawn Michaels' Prayer. When Shawn mm -hmm. returned to the WWE in 2002, he was born again, and remorseful mm -hmm. for his past actions and behavior, Michaels' faith in God was incorporated into his on-screen persona and could be observed mm -hmm. any time the heartbreak kid made his entrance. Before signaling for his pyro, Shawn would take a moment to engage in a prayer. This gesture showed HBK's commitment to his faith, which helped him become a better version of himself. Yeah. <laughs> While it was nice to see a glimpse of Sean's faith being integrated into his character, the WWE perhaps took it a step too far by having Michaels team up with God to take on Vince and Shane McMahon at Backlash. Oh, who remembers that? Oh my God, that was a thing. He literally teamed up with God and God was a beam of light that walked down the ramp. It's WWE for you, man. <laughs> 2006. God even got an entrance. Man wants God to get with it. Number 10. Vince McMahon's <sighs> walk. <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh, God damn it. I'm telling you now. Vince definitely did the walk back into WWE headquarters. I, I am willing to bet some money. I know he did. I know he did. <laughs> Vince always had a pep in his step with his walk gradually evolving over time, becoming more and more absurd, eventually resulting in the billionaire strut as we know it today. Mm -hmm. The walk helped capture Vince's egotistical, eccentric, and wealthy persona, and despite his evil character, fans were regularly seen bowing in his presence and singing along to his theme song whenever the former chairman made his entrance. <laughs> Today, Vince's strut is heavily mm -hmm. associated with Conor McGregor, who performs the walk in honor of Vince, as McGregor is a big fan of McMahon. The strut, the infamous billionaire that strut, man. To the end of this video. If there are any entrances we haven't covered yet. Hey, this was dope. Y'all go give him a like. Once again, man, this this was great. Uh, wrestling flashback. I'm already subscribed to the guy. I'm definitely giving the video a like. Go ahead, subscribe to him, man. Love these entrance quirks, man. It just takes you back down memory lane. <laughs> Vince McMahon with the billionaire strut. You know he did it when he came back to WWE. Also, R-Truth is probably one of the best to ever, <laughs> like the best comedian, like comedic wrestler of all time. And he's actually pretty good in the ring, in my opinion. I've seen some of his old TNA stuff and just uh, in general, he can actually pretty go, go well. He, he can go in the ring. So uh, once again, wishing him a speedy recovery. But yeah, this was a great video. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite iconic entrance from this video. I know some of you guys are going to say you guys like the Vince McMahon entrance. I ain't going to lie to you. It is. It's 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 an iconic one. O only he can really embody the the arm swinging i'm rich as shit walk but <laughs> i know this is not the proper time to even be 
talking about that with the state of WWE and how he's been uh, trying to, you know, sell the company and all types of things. But I'm sure some of you guys still appreciate the Vince McMahon billionaire walk. Comment down below. Let me know if he did the walk. Do you guys think he also did the walk when he came back to WWE headquarters? But I appreciate all the love and support. Row two. 150k oh yeah and by the way yes robross has returned once again i know you guys uh appreciate when i do return uh with the robe and by the way i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world see y'all next time peace